What's going on guys, my name is Church Phoenix and welcome back to another RuneScape quick tip guide. Uh, this quick tip guide is going to be a quick tip guide, um, but I'm going to go kind of more in depth on several topics rather than one specific topic. Um, in this uh, topic I want to discuss quests and certain quests that can give you massive loads of XP for doing like simplistic jobs uh, involved in the quest. Um, okay, so we're going to start off with Fight Arena. Fight Arena is a very simple quest. Um, I'm not going to lie, you may need to be a higher level um, because you will have to complete uh, a kind of like a mini game where you have to fight a couple of enemies who are quite high. Um, but obviously, if you've done um, quite a lot of quests and you've done some combat and you're level like 50 ish, you'll, you, you'll be able to do it with a full inventory of food. And basically, on completing this quest, you will receive 2,175 Thieving XP and more specifically, 12,175 attack XP. There are no requirements to complete any of these quests that I'm going to be mentioning. And uh, yeah, that is Fight Arena. Another quest would be The Restless Ghost. Uh, the Restless Ghost is a very simple quest that you can start in Lumbridge. And um, on completion of The Restless Ghost, you will get 1,125 prayer XP, which is a massive boost for prayer, uh, especially if you have got a lower level prayer, because it will level you up quite a lot of time, um, especially because prayer is a somewhat long skill to train when you're just like kind of burying regular bones instead of like dragon bones. Um, so yeah, The Restless Ghost is a really great quest for getting combat skill up. Okay guys, so on to Vampire Slayer. Vampire Slayer is once again a very simplistic quest. Uh, this is started in Draenor, and it, it really is simple. You have to um, fight a, a, a vampire at the very end of the quest, but he only has about 10 to 15 health points, which means it, it's not really that difficult to kill. And on doing this, you will get 4,825 attack XP, not to mention that you get four quest points, which is a massive boost in quest points, and uh, is if you're going for, say, the Dragon Slayer quest, or the Heroes quest, or the Legends quest, where you need a specific amount of quest points to actually gain access to the quest. So this quest, I um, would highly recommend, even if you don't want it for the attack XP, but more specifically for the quest points. Okay guys, so on to Imp Catcher. One of everyone's hateful quests, but Imp Catcher, um, you don't even have to set your focus on completing this quest. If you see an Imp, kill the Imp. If you get a bead, bank it. And then on completing this cash quest, you will get a amulet of accuracy, which you can actually sell for somewhat uh, quite a lot of GP, and you will get 750 magic XP. I wouldn't advise doing this quest if you're solely going for the magic XP, because to be honest, 750 magic XP isn't a lot, unless you were just starting off at level 1 mage, in which case it is quite a lot of XP because it will level you up quite several few times. Okay guys, so on to the next quest. The next quest will be Tree Gnome Village. On completion of Tree Gnome Village, you will get 11,450 attack XP, and once again, there are no requirements for any of these quests, including this quest. Um, and this quest is a very, very simple quest. Uh, I have a guide on my channel, actually, on how to safe spot this monster at the very end of the quest, um, so that you will actually deal no damage to yourself, meaning you get the free attack XP without with the risk of death. Um, okay guys, so on to the more the obvious quest that kind of everyone knows and should have done by now, but in just in case you don't, uh, this would be Waterfall Quest. Waterfall Quest is a very simple quest. Um, the only really like downside to it is if you are level 3, it's going to be quite difficult for you because you have to run past kind of very high level enemies, uh, which are Moss Giants and Fire Giants, and they can hit you with an instant 10, which will cause you to die. Um, but with a full inventory of food, and hopefully if you are kind of higher level by this point and you have a higher hit point level, you should be able to do it without any problem. And on completion of this quest, you will get 13,750 attack and strength XP, which is a massive boost to attack and strength. Uh, this will get you from level 1 to 30 instantly. So if you are level 3 and you haven't tra trained your attack or strength, then this will be the number one priority for you. Instead of training from 1 to 30, you can simply do this simple quest that can take you 10 to 15 minutes and then you boom, straight to level 30. Okay guys, so the next quest kind of ties in with the Tree Gnome Village, um, it's the Grand Tree Quest. The Grand Tree Quest, it's, it's an easy quest because at, um, at the end of the quest you can actually save spot the Black Demon. That's the um, monster at the very end of the quest, you have to actually um, kill a Black Demon. But there is quite a lot of save spots where you can just kind of just range him or mage him and he will no, do no damage to you. And uh, on completion of this quest, you will get 18,400 attack XP, 7,900 agility XP, 2,150 magic XP, and access to the Grand Tree Spirit Tree. Um, however, the Grand Tree 
requires you to have 25 agility, but 25 agility isn't really that difficult to go for. Um, if you type it into YouTube, that uh, fast agility card, you'll be able to get 25 agility in no less than an hour. So yeah, guys, I really do hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I've been wanting to put this out for you guys for a long time. I've just been trying to ga gather uh, certain quests for you guys so I can actually narrate it to you and tell you which ones are specifically... Um, uh, beneficial for you in terms of XP. In completion of doing all these quests, you will get to approximately 50 attack and strength, which is, well, I wouldn't say strength, but mainly 50 attack. I mean, the amount of, like, attack speed that you get right now. Say you are 30 attack right now, you're going to get massive levels because of these quests, and they're really highly beneficial to you. Um, I... Personally, uh, halfway through doing all these quests, I'm going to do the rest of them. Currently, I have to do Grand Tree and um, Fight Arena. Once I do Grand Tree and Fight Arena, I'm going to do another quest. Um, but I'm going to not tell you guys what that is because that's going to come in the next video. And oh my god, are you going to be shocked on how much XP you can get in this one specific skill. But that's revealing too much and that'll be the next video. So anyway guys, if you did enjoy the video, then I would love it if you could leave a like and subscribe if you are new to the channel. And leave in the comment section what your favourite memory of RuneScape 2007 is so far. Uh, mine personally would have to be the first day the game came out and the massive grind that I was doing. Uh, a couple of friends came around to my house, we ordered food, we got some junk food. And we basically just kind of camped out for a few hours when we were playing RuneScape. That's my favourite memory, what's your favourite memory? I'd love to hear them. And uh, yeah guys, I will see you in the next video. And I'm signing out. See you later.